Hello and welcome to the video. If this is your first time here, my name is Mike. If you've been here before, my name is still Mike, but you would have known that already. As the world's eyes turn to the 2024 Olympics in Paris, there's another battle taking place, not on the sporting fields, but in the skies. France has mobilized an unprecedented security force to protect its Olympic venues. With 45,000 police officers and 18,000 military personnel, this is one of the largest security deployments in history. But they're not just dealing with the usual threats. France has even brought in help from abroad, with foreign police forces like the NYPD contributing canine units to the effort. This collaboration underscores the global importance of keeping the games safe. Since this year's games began, 53 drones have been intercepted near Olympic sites. Most of these weren't flown with malicious intent. According to the Interior Minister of France, many were simply hobbyists breaking the regulations, flying too high or in restricted areas or even in unsafe weather conditions, and some were just trying to get a better view of the opening ceremony. But even harmless drones pose a risk, and France isn't taking any chances. The French army has been preparing for this for months. Running exercises to ensure their anti-drone arsenal is ready to go. This includes 15 heavy anti-drone units capable of neutralizing a drone from miles away using radar, cameras, and jamming antennas. They've also equipped officers with anti-drone rifles that can scramble signals or take down a drone with a laser if necessary. Drone regulations in France are quite strict. Drones over 800 grams must be registered and flights above 120 meters or over people and urban areas are prohibited. During the Olympics, these rules are even tighter. Paris and surrounding areas are no-fly zones unless you have special permits. Only law enforcement, military, and accredited media are allowed to operate drones. The situation in Paris highlights a growing issue for major events worldwide. As drone technology advances, so too does the need for regulation and enforcement. What we're seeing today in Paris could very well be the norm for future global events, including ones here in Canada. All that remains now is for me to remind you to subscribe if you haven't already. Like the video if you did. Feel free to share it with friends or family members who you think may enjoy it. And remember, you can follow Gradient Imaging on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. But until next week, bye-bye.